Have you ever wondered how to make an LED light up automatically when it gets dark? Well, in this video, we're going to build a simple and smart dark sensor circuit using just a few basic components, a BC547 transistor, an LDR, and a 5.6 kilo ohm resistor. Welcome to Electrotechie, where we learn electronics from basics to brilliance. Concept Overview The idea behind this project is very simple. During daylight, the light falling on the LDR keeps the LED turned off. But as soon as it becomes dark, the LDR senses the change and automatically turns the LED on. This is the same concept used in streetlights, garden lamps, and night indicators. It's amazing how such a tiny circuit can do something so useful. Let's take a closer look at the components you'll need for this circuit. LDR, light dependent resistor. The LDR changes its resistance depending on the amount of light falling on it. When light increases, its resistance decreases. When light decreases, its resistance increases. This simple property helps us detect darkness. BC547 transistor. The BC547 is an NPN bipolar junction transistor. It has three terminals, collector, base, and emitter. In this circuit, the transistor acts as a switch. When a small voltage is applied to the base, it allows a larger current to flow from collector to emitter, turning the LED on. Resistor, 5.6 kilo ohms quarter watt. This resistor forms a voltage divider with the LDR, creating a variable voltage for the transistor's base. LED. This is our output indicator. It lights up automatically when darkness is detected. Power supply. You can use a 5 volts to 12 volt battery or power supply to power the circuit. But remember, if you are using a 4 volt LED strip, then give the circuit a maximum of 6 volts of supply or battery. And if you are using a 12 volt LED strip, then you can also connect it to a 12 to 14 volt supply or battery. Now let's understand how the circuit works. First of all, you should understand that a transistor is an electronic component with three legs. If the side with the numbers written on the top of the transistor is facing upward, then the collector pin is on the left side, the base pin is in the middle, and the emitter pin is on the right side. However, this pin configuration can vary, so it's always a good idea to check the datasheet of your transistor before wiring it. Now let's start building. Connect the LDR and the 5.6K resistor in series. The point between them connects to the base of the BC547 transistor. Connect the other side of the resistor to the collector pin of the transistor. The other pin of the LDR connects with the negative terminal of the battery. We'll take the output from the emitter pin of the transistor and connect the positive side of the LED stripe to it. Then connect the negative side of the LED to the negative terminal of the battery or power supply. Finally, connect positive supply or battery to transistor collector pin. Connect the negative supply to the negative side of the LDR and LED panel. And that's it. Our circuit is complete. Now, let's test it. Circuit logic explanation. Here's the simple logic behind it. When there's light, the resistance of the LDR becomes very low. This pulls the base voltage of the transistor close to ground. As a result, the transistor remains off and no current flows through the LED, so the LED stays off. But when it becomes dark, the LDR's resistance increases sharply. This raises the voltage at the base of the transistor. Once the base voltage crosses approximately 0.7 volts, the transistor switches on. Current now flows from collector to emitter, powering the LED, and it lights up automatically. That's the magic of a simple transistor switch, controlled entirely by light intensity. After connecting all the components on your circuit board, power up the circuit. You'll notice that when the LDR is exposed to light, the LED remains off. Now, slowly cover the LDR with your hand. As the light decreases, the LED turns on automatically. 
That's your working dark sensor circuit in action. You can even adjust the sensitivity by replacing the 5.6K resistor with a variable resistor, such as a 10K potentiometer. This lets you fine tune how dark it needs to get before the LED turns on. We will definitely build this project in the future so that we can control its sensitivity. This simple setup demonstrates two key concepts in electronics, sensor-based control and transistor switching. The LDR acts as the sensor, converting light into resistance changes. The BC547 acts as the switch, responding to those changes and controlling the LED output. You can also use the same principle to control a relay, which can operate AC lights, fans, or other electrical loads. With a relay, this tiny low-voltage circuit can control high-power devices, making it perfect for real-world applications like automatic streetlights, night lamps, and solar lighting systems. We will definitely create projects in the future that will allow us to run heavier loads with smaller circuits. So there you have it, your very own automatic LED light dark sensor built using a BC547 transistor, an LDR, and a 5.6K resistor. It's simple, low cost, and a fantastic way to understand how sensors and transistors work together. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Electrotechie and continue your journey from basics to brilliance.